Hello. Today we're gonna talk about debt. Talking about debt is so exciting. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I just wanna talk about me for just a couple of seconds and then we can get on into the video. My name is Emily, I am 36, I am a single individual with no debt. I am currently on baby step 3B, which means that I am saving a 20% down payment for a home. I am currently looking for homes as well, which means that I've already exceeded that threshold, but I am still in saving mode. I haven't moved on to baby step four, five, and six yet, because once I sign on the dotted line for that mortgage, then I am gonna start doing the four, five, and six. So that being said, let's talk about Dave Ramsey's FPU class week four review. Fun fact, I forgot my workbook at home this week, but that's okay. Um, today we talked about debt. Um, let me see if I can actually get to the page. Uh, here we go. Dumping, whoa, dumping debt, woohoo. So, um, there were a few, like, good takeaways from this, but because, like I said in the intro, I'm debt-free, I really didn't have much to contribute to this. Um, we did talk a lot about consumerism and how they're marketing to children and marketing to teens and the elderly and things like that. So, it's definitely something to be aware of that I just don't want to go in any more debt ever. Um, a home is a little bit different where it's not really feasible for me to save up 200 plus thousand dollars for a home but that being said I'm gonna put down as much as I can in the future and that's hopefully gonna be happening in 2017 like I said I'm looking right now so we'll see but anyway that's what's going on with this bad boy and I feel like I'm missing something oh I need to put my little box thing right here because it just looks like a mess hold on hey look Dave's there Hey Dave! Alright, so let me put this down and then we'll talk about the notes. My takeaway is what I do every single week is I just have a little pad and paper and I write notes on them. Um, this is a little spiral bound notebook that I got from Erin Condren a while ago. I'll leave a link below if you're interested. I will also leave the link for created by Danielle. She made this for me and it's an Etsy shop. I'll just put it down below. So anyway, so here are my takeaways from the Financial Peace University week four dumping debt. So my notes were that debt has always been marketed to us. So someone like me that's 36, I've been watching television for 36 years. Um, there are a couple of people in my class that didn't always grow up watching television because of their age, they're a little bit older than me. So that being said, um, you know, they had a life that was without credit cards for a little while. You know, they had a different perspective versus like a couple that were in their 20s, you know. Plastic has always been something that's been marketed to us and it still be, continues to be marketed to us everywhere we go. One of the gals actually in my class was talking about how she had never ever leased a vehicle and they walked into the car dealership, her and her husband, um, about a year ago and were looking to purchase two new vehicles and somehow ended up leasing two brand new vehicles. So after this class, she said that after the class was over today, she said, you know, I'm going to really go through my paperwork and see if there's any way that I can get out of it or if I have to take a hit to buy a car or something. She's like, because we're paying so much in cars. And, you know, the group that was still kind of talking with her was like, yeah, you know, look into it. Um, it doesn't hurt to ask, but, you know, there's so many things that are always marketed to us where it's the best deal possible and there's always a good deal and you can get a good deal on a new car and it's like, mm, you kind of can't. Um, and that being said, I purchased a new car. Like, the car that I currently have, I'm pointing that way because it is that way, <laughs> that was a brand new car. I bought a brand new car, but it was definitely within my budget at the time and it still remains to be way within my budget especially with depreciation, of course. However, that being said, I don't think I would ever purchase a brand new car. Not ever again, but like in the next 10 years, I can't imagine myself purchasing a brand new car. I would have to have a certain amount of money in the bank and all of that to feel comfortable with that, as well as I would only pay cash for a vehicle from now on, just because I know that just because I can afford a payment doesn't really mean that I can afford it. Also, another takeaway from this week was when you spend with plastic, you don't feel it. That kind of goes back to last week. I will link my Money Talk playlist down below, which has all my financial videos on there if you guys are interested in watching any of my previous videos on the FPU courses, as well as my budgeting videos and all that good stuff. So, but it is true. Like, once you spend with plastic, like, you just don't 
feel those pain sensors and you know that's what the credit card companies want you to feel they want you to feel that sense of no one's paying for this it's just happening and I get to go home with all this stuff I really don't need um, so yeah it's just it's one of those things that you know I'm getting more and more used to the idea of living without any kind of credit card at all. Also, buy a reliable used car for cash. That's how the millionaires do it. We, he talked a little bit about like emulating behaviors of if you want to be wealthy, emulate what millionaires do. If you want to lose weight, talk to fit people and what they do. If you want to be good at sports, you know, talk to someone about how they became really good at sports. You know, like things like that. Um, and then also 80% of millionaires polled had never ever leased a car before. That's kind of a staggering statistic. So again, it's just doing what people in that kind of successful category, what they have done versus what you're doing and maybe changing your behaviors just a little bit and seeing if you can come out ahead in the end. This is definitely a marathon and not a sprint. Also, I'm getting back to the dumping debt part. Um, we talked a lot about selling stuff. So like selling things on eBay, selling things on Craigslist, also selling things on like Facebook, on those like garage sale sites. Um, you know, people that had already done like the thousand dollar emergency fund, but they wanted to kind of start snowballing that debt as fast as possible. Um, and what they've done or what they are going to do tomorrow, you know, when they get the week started. Um, so a lot of people had really good ideas on what they can do to sell some stuff in their home that they're maybe not even using. Um, some older things, some things that they've already replaced. Like someone talked about an older snowblower. Um, they purchased one this year and they have another one just sitting in the garage and they don't need it. So this is the perfect time to sell a snowblower. It's still winter time in Minnesota. So even though we haven't been getting a lot of snow, knock on wood, um, it's just a great time to sell one. I mean, you don't, you don't usually want to sell one of these in like July um, because you're gonna yield a little bit more for it while it's still kind of in those snowier months also if you're in debt go to work I actually got a second job not to get out of debt because me getting out of debt was a totally different situation if you guys watch my financial story um, which is in my money talk playlist that will be linked below I talked about how I actually got out of debt before I really discovered like the Dave Ramsey program and I kind of did it in the same way that Dave goes into in his plan um, when I I was saving for a home when I was living in Fargo I actually got a second job after YouTube so really like a third job I don't know I really like to work you guys I really do so in like literally all of my money I actually had it direct deposited right into my savings account right into my baby step 3b fund is where all of that money went and I never ever even touched it it's still sitting in there it's still really pretty and sitting in there um, I worked retail for a little while and um, when I moved here there were some locations in my area but unfortunately they were all over an hour away um, I would have totally kept the job however it was too far away and like to be a hundred percent honest which this happens with a lot of retail slash part-time jobs is you don't really get paid that much per hour and I calculated it out and with the time that it would take me to get there plus the expense of like fuel for my vehicle and upkeep for my vehicle I really wasn't making that much after the end and I'm like you know it just isn't seeming like a good idea Plus, it was, there was a lot of like back roads, unfortunately, that I would have to take like not straight, you know, interstate and highway. And in the winter months here, it's not, not good. So I decided to end that employment um, just based on that. But if I ever move closer to another location, they told me the door is open and they would love me back. Um, if I could ever make it work in my schedule again. So maybe in the future, depending on where I move, um, that will happen. Um, I really loved working there and just working there one or two days on the weekend, like a Saturday, Sunday, or just a Saturday or just a Sunday um, was really, really nice. And you know, just working like four or five hours and it was good, I liked it, I really liked it a lot. Just couldn't make it work with the schedule once I moved here. So other people in the class are talking about different things to do. Um, one of the gentlemen said that he had looked into delivering pizzas, kind of like David talked about out. Um, I think in one of the previous sessions, I can't remember when he talked, he might have talked about it today actually. Um, but yeah, one of the gentlemen was talking about doing something like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different things that can be done. 
a lot of ways to increase your income, um, ways to possibly get promotions at work or just get more motivated and you know see if those increases kind of come along with that too. So there's lots of different ways that you can get out of debt. So anyway, that is going to be it for this week. Those were all my notes. Like I said, I really didn't have much to contribute to today's discussion in class just because I've already been debt free for quite a while. So I mean, I can relate in some aspects, but then in other aspects, I'd rather just everybody else kind of talk about what they're going to do and not what I have done. Um, you know, I've done the obvious, I've done the snowball and I've done the, you know, get a second job kind of a thing. Um, but it just didn't seem like it was my place to say anything because I felt like the people that were going through it had more of a passion for it. And right now I'm not passionate about getting out of debt. I'm passionate about building up my house savings fund. So I'm just in a different mindset than some of the other people in my class. But I'm sure next week I might have something to say. You never know. I never actually look ahead to like in the workbook, which I should, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to save it for later. But next week I might have something to say. You never know. So anyway, that is going to be it for my week four recap on dumping debt through Financial Peace University or FPU. If you guys have any questions, feel free to post them below. I will get back to as many of you as I possibly can. Again, my Money Talk playlist will be linked below as well. I will also put down the Dave Ramsey website down below. I know a few of you have had questions on previous videos and I think I've gotten back to all of you. I'm not really 100% sure yet. My channel has been kind of crazy with all the comments so I'm not able to get back to every single person. So if I don't get back to you, it's not that I don't care and not that I don't see it. But if you have actual like question questions, Feel 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 free to email me. Link is below. Also, send me a message on Facebook. I will see those two things pop through more than I will see comments on a video. So I'll link the Dave Ramsey website down below that has all the information about the cost, how much it is, where people are giving classes, what start times, all that kind of stuff. So you can check it out. So that is gonna be it for me. I hope you guys are having a great day no matter where you are. Feel free to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and you want to continue seeing weekly updates for my financial piece. University journey as well as hit that red subscribe button I think it's down below or up above or there's it's somewhere on the frame here somewhere on the frame um, if you want to see more videos from me I post every single Monday Wednesday and Friday every once in a while I do have those sneaky little surprise videos that come up too so you never know you never know but if you want to feel free to hit it and then that means you just won't miss anything of mine as always I hope you guys are doing very well and I will see you all in my next video bye guys